do this. When I was driving down the highway in my pit for Chevrolet. There he is. That's Mr. Hendon. This is our first encounter. He's just witnessed me do loads of weird things with different camera angles. I haven't said hello yet. <laughs> this is the home for Oblong Surfboards who are sponsoring me now. <sighs> I'm a sponsored surfer, guys. I've made it. <laughs> like I said to everyone, it's not about the, my ability as a surfer. It's, it's just about the message, okay? I've got a mental health message which I want to, which I want to promote, like, as you know, <laughs> you've been following, or maybe you've just started following me. And um, yeah, uh, I want to align with a, a wellness sport that I, I resonate with, that I'm passionate with, that I can, um, that can help promote my message. So. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's go and get my stuff. We'll get set up and let's uh, get some content for you guys. Howdy. How's it going? Hiya. He's hard at work. I'm disturbing an artist. We better do one of these. Bit of rough shaping. Oh, look at that. The first time, <laughs> the first time we touched. So what are we going to get going for me then? A wave walker. A wave walker? Wave walker. But I like the yeah. sound of the wave walker. Well, I, I found that, that that name came across probably five, six years ago. It's been in the back of my brain for ages. Yeah. And when I kind of came up with this new model, I just went, oh, it's going to be called a wave walker. Yeah. Right. It's a reverse rocker board. It gives you more kick in the tail. It gives you a lot more lift in the tail, which aids nose riding a lot. So, yeah, tell me... Um, like a brief history of uh, Oblong, like a uh, brief history. It was kind of weird actually, because a lot, a lot of people, are, quite, I've been asked quite a few times, how do you get into making boards? How do you, how do you get into shaping? And I said, well, I, I don't know really, because I kind of fell into it. So obviously I was into my surfing, and I used to come down here, you know, just get my monthly wages or whatever, and boom, I was down in Nikki, you know, yeah. so. And you'd always been kind of surfing, little bits of surfing in, in the family because of well, holidays. Yeah, my granddad used to live in um, in Mausel, so we used to come down on holidays and things like that. But I, I really caught the bug, and obviously I got to know Tim at Custard Point. I used mm. to park my camper outside the factory. Mr. Tim Miller's, kind of stuff. Yeah. one of my Patreons. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so Tim, I, I used to park outside the, the, the factory and, and see them and all that lot, and then one of the, the guy was leaving and he, he offered me a job, do you want to do it? You know, I didn't get my own place to do my boards, you know, until early 2000, you know, 2000, 2001, you know, so um, even though I'd already done a couple of boards at a, another factory, I got in and made myself a board and bits and bobs and stuff, so I kind of already started, but um, yeah, and then just started up and up and did that. My hidden treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo. You, ooh, you, ooh, I leave it all. My acres of a land I have achieved. It may be hard for me to stop and believe it. Ooh, 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 I leave it all.
couple of pasties from St Agnes. I couldn't resist it, I had to get myself one as well. I'm supposed to be eating clean. Okay. So this is my first pasty I've had, I've had since I uh, got back to Cornwall. Steve is a bad influence on me. So you guys that are not from Cornwall and you're following me from around the world, this is a Cornish pasty. This is a delicacy of Cornwall. So Agnes Bakery, this looks like an epic one. I, went for, I didn't go for okay. traditional though, I went for Steak of Stilton. Cheers, all right. Pasty loving. Mm. Oh, oh my god. So in Agnes Bakery, this is almost as good as Trevelli Farm. Almost. Yeah. Almost. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Like, it's got a good amount of crispy crunch. It's got some nice chunks of steak in there. Nice. Wow. They are really, really nice. Yes. My hidden treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo. You, who, you, who, I leave it all. My acres of a land I have achieved. It may be hard for you to stop and believe, but for you, who, you, who, I leave it all. way to see a friend actually or someone I just met uh, called Belinda uh, who has signed up to my karma card project uh, but now I'm actually getting to hand deliver these karma cards to directly to her which is very exciting okay so here she is this is Belinda everybody uh, she is my one of my newest my, is my newest <laughs> actually no I have one person the other day sign up yeah ah. karma card project okay. here you go Thank you very much. All right, let's see what's going on in there. You can open it right now if oh, you want. Oh, yeah. Under pressure. Yeah, open it right under now. Pressure. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> so you got the karma cards. There we go. Uh, finally. So that's angels. I saw your story to this one. Very oh, you saw some of them, did you? I still can't believe you never used to paint before. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I love this one. Oh, that one's based on uh, on a su sunset, Fishful Beach. That's the eye. That was my second ever painting. Boom. Like, that was the moment when I was like, okay, I'm I pretty kinda, good at this. I kind of need to <laughs> buy some materials. So was was this the first or not? That so wasn't, that, that was... wasn't the first, but that was obviously I was going through some times, some yeah. tough times, and um, the little angels are like mm. uh, it's called angels, and that's basically my two friends that were guiding me through the forest by. The where's which beach is this? With the that's the uh, that's Formby Beach. Oh. That's the dog's called Yogi. Oh, and then nice this is lie. Vera Cohenberg. So Vera Cohenberg is the person who I did the picture. I did I did a her picture, a picture of a picture. I think it's called impressionism. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a newbie artist. I've no idea what I'm talking about when I take it off. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Belinda. I'm from South Africa and recently moved from London to Newquay. And I've joined the hashtag Karma Card Project. Someone who has personally struggled with anxiety. Um, and moving to new cities on my own to challenge myself I thought that um, being part of something that is creative to bring people together was a pretty neat thing and I wanted to support you because you're giving your life for something for other people and that's all. 
Oh, that's very <laughs> nice. She wants to support me. And that's brilliant. That's how people can support me uh, uh, by joining the Karma Card Project. So go to patreon.com forward slash Graham Cullis Art. Make a pledge. Uh, all the money goes towards the production of this vlog because this vlog is a lot of work. Uh, all the social medias, I won't go into it too much, but you know the deal. It's not just me sitting on my bum and all of the mental health campaigns that I can then be freed up to do, like the Youth Art Connect, which is happening at the moment. Uh, um, so, yeah, if you can, please make a small pledge, just a cup of coffee once a month. You did more than a cup of coffee, <laughs> naughty girl. All right, um, and yeah, thank you very much, Belinda. That was very, very lovely of you, and it's really nice to have you on the team. Hi, oh, oh. Hi, oh. <laughs> Yes! Just to clarify what the Karma Card Project's all about, by donating to me once a month, a small pledge, I will send you six gift cards every six months that you can send on to people that might be struggling with mental health illnesses or just to reconnect to family and friends. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Graham Colors Art. Steve didn't really want to do this, but I made him do it. <laughs> the leash loop. Love it. I have achieved. It may be hard for you to stop and believe, but for you, who you? I leave it all Oh, for you Ooh, for you Ooh, I leave it all But give me one good reason Why I should never make a change And baby, if you hold me Then all of this will go away Okay, today is the day the board is finished and it's going to be in my hands very soon. And to say thank you, I bought Steve, one of the best pasties in the world. Trevelli Farm pasty, if you don't, if, you, uh, if you've never had a Trevelli Farm pasty from Yuki, then you haven't lived. This is Ollie, everybody. Oh. Ollie put the fin box in my board. <laughs> He's very proud of it to have a piece, uh, have a piece of the action. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's have a look at this thing. Oh my goodness gracious me! That is beautiful. Oh! Yeah. Look at the flamingos. Oh my gosh, they look so good. And you're right, man, the colours really do pop out, don't they, once they you get... Pop. As soon as the, uh, oh. the resin goes on, it pops the colours. Oh man, that is so epic. Right, I've got something for you, Steve. Ooh. Breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah, Trevilli Farm oh, wow, pasty. That's, that's a full-on breakfast, <laughs> mate. Have you had a Trevilli Farm pasty before? Don't think I have, no. Well, <laughs> your, your life is about to change. Mm. Quite a funny thing. Oh, did you hear that crispity crunch? Give us a, a, a comprehensive review. Comprehensive review. Um, that is, that's awesome. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. And baby, if you hold me, then all of this will go away. <laughs> okay. Oh, Time to take <laughs> I really want to thank Oblong Surfboards for sponsoring me and getting behind me to promote my message. Watch this space for loads more footage of my vlogs, promoting the wellness benefits of surfing and how it can help improve our mental health as an activity. If you're interested in getting a board hand-shaped, then look no further than Stephen Hendon. He is a massive legend. Get in touch with Oblong Surfboards through Facebook and Instagram at Oblong Surfboards or www.oblongsurfboards.com.